Hey, what's up my fellow Pan-African? And today we are going to touch on some crucial updates on the recent coup in Niger. But before you dive right into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay in the loop with our Pan-African discussion. So if you've been keeping up, Niger witnessed another coup and some pro-coup Nigerians were even waving the Russian flags and burning the French flags, leading France to close down its embassy in Niamey. ECOWAS, led by Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu, has called for the release and restatement of President Mohamed Bazoum within a week. And in response, ECOWAS decided to sanction the Niger Republic with Nigeria cutting off power supply to the country. So the power that is being consumed in Niger Republic, to be specific, 70% of it comes from Nigeria. So this one is going to serve as a big blow. We will not allow coup after coup. We will take this up seriously with African Union, so the European Union, and Britain, and America. Geopolitically speaking, the situation is complex. The U.S. does not want Russia to gain influence in the region, fearing that if Bazoum is ousted completely, Russia Wagner Group could take advantage and move in rapidly. Mali, Burkina Faso, and Guinea have shown support for Niger's military junta, warning against any military intervention that could destabilize the entire region. Bien sûr, nous avons lancé l'idée, d'ailleurs, qui n'est pas bien appréciée par. Eh bien, il faut que les gens comprennent que en rang dispersé, ça sera difficile. On va se battre, mais il faut que l'Afrique arrive à s'unir. Et plus on s'unit, plus on, a, on est efficace. Actually, uh, the president of Guinea, Mamadi Dambuya, has said that if anyone dares invade Niger due to the military takeover, could deter. So they will declare war against the invaders and they will send their military to defend Niger. So that was the president of Guinea that was giving that warning. And then we had also Burkina Faso and also Mali. In a joint statement, they said that the government of Burkina Faso and Mali are going to declare war against anyone who's going to invade Niger and that matter. So the ECOWAS is planning to have a joint mission, uh, probably with France and uh, US. That is not even all because Africa is witnessing a wave of anti-West sentiment. Senegal, as you speak, is facing anti-French protests. And in Congo, demonstrators are calling for the AU peacekeeping mission to leave the country. The sentiment against Western involvement is growing and we need to keep an eye on this development. Speaking of development, there's an ongoing process of Wagner mercenary in Mali and Niger. Mali and Burkina Faso have recently discussed the possibility of a rapid deployment of Wagner forces in Niger. The situation is tense and we will keep you updated on these events as they unfold. So we are waiting to see what will happen after the one week ultimatum that has been given by ECOWAS to these military junta in Niger. Because after that we are going to see that ECOWAS have said that they are going to have a military intervention and we think that this can be a joint mission whereby US and France can join in with ECOWAS. So that's a wrap for today. Remember that staying informed is crucial and we will continue to provide you with the latest update on these important matters. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your Pan-African community. Until next time, stay woke and keep it locked on Mushek Speaks. Peace out.